Welcome to another episode of Abandoned Locations, where we share information and our thoughts on abandoned places with you guys. I'm Ray Ray, and this is my partner in crime, Justin, and today we're taking a flight to my beautiful island of Puerto Rico and talk about the most notorious forest, El Yunque. What if we told you that not only is El Yunque beautiful, but it is filled with unsolved mysteries? It is also known for having 13 of 15 species of coqui, which is the most known frog in Puerto Rico. The U.S. military even prevents entrance to the forest due to the UFOs and possibility of El Chupacabra. Yikes! So we are entering alien territory today. El Junca is not necessarily abandoned. In fact, it's still a very good attraction for civilians and tourists to explore it. But there are certain areas of El Junque that people shouldn't go or shouldn't try to explore. This is gonna be very interesting guys so sit down relax and just watch this video to the very end because we know you're gonna love it. Formerly known as the Tequila Forest, El Junque is a rainforest located in Sierra de Luquillo, 25 miles from Puerto Rico's capital San Juan. El Junque is composed by 28,000 acres making it the biggest block of land in Puerto Rico. It is the only tropical rainforest in the United States National Forest System. As previously stated, inside of the forest can be found different species of coquis and birds, such as Puerto Rico's native, the El Fin. El Junque is composed by four different vegetation areas within the forest, which are the Tabonuco Forest, Palo Colorado Forest, Sierra Palm Forest, and the Dwarf Forest. The word Junque comes from the Taino Indians and it means white lands. Tourists and civilians are always welcome to visit the forest. Just make sure that you have a professional to show you around. El Junque is a box full of unexplained mysteries. It's been two decades since Luquillo residents and investigators claimed to witness the presence of UFOs. UFO investigator George Martin affirms that the UFOs can be spotted flying off and landing in a mountain within El Riunque called El Pico del Este. To make matters even more strange, there is a U.S. Marine radar located near the location in El Pico del Este. Many civilians have tried to explore El Pico del Este to try to see for themselves how much truth is there as far as alien presence. However, the U.S. military always forced them to go home and never come back. These military members are described to be North American soldiers dressed in black and not fluent in the Spanish language. It is prohibited to enter to a military base in any location you go in the USA, unless the individual who is entering has an ID that clarifies the reason of their presence. However, Puerto Ricans think that there is something else. The fact that the island has the world's biggest satellite does not help neither. Some conspiracy theorists even think that the U.S. uses Puerto Rico as the main location to have extraterrestrial communication. In 1967, Miss Irma Ortiz, a New York resident, went to explore the mountains at El Yunque with a group of biology students and two professors. One of the professors stayed with two students. One of the students was named Ramon Quinones, and the other's last name was Gonzalez. Once they made it to the top of the mountain, when they opened up their tents and lit up a fire. Ramon Quinones was a guitarist, and they took a relaxing moment to play a little guitar while the professor and Gonzalez were talking. All of a sudden, the group stopped talking, and they heard steps as if someone was walking towards them. Nobody could see anything. Everything was too dark. However... Ramon spotted a tall individual with glowing skin from a distance. The professor and the students stood up and went on their way to see if they could somehow interact with the glowing individual. But nobody was able to track him. Gonzalez and the professor met where the fire was set, but Ramon was missing. And to this day, nobody knows what happened to Ramon Quinones. If you thought the tall man with glowing skin was weird, People who live close to the Junque have claimed to have seen the legendary Chupacabras. Unlike the North American version of El Chupacabras, Luquillo civilians describe the creature they've seen as an alien looking creature that is four feet tall, has spikes on its back, and it also has wings. 
People say that El Chupacabras is guilty for sucking the blood and killing town's animals. However, there is no concrete proof that El Chupacabra actually exists. Every time the authorities thought they had captured El Chupacabras, it always turned out to be another animal. Yeah, it's weird, but there are a lot of unexplained things that happen in Puerto Rico, so why not give El Chupacabra the benefit of the doubt? After all, the death of all those animals still remain a mystery, just like a Junque. So living in a place that was believed to have so many things like aliens and El Chupacabra, um, does it ever, did it ever scare you to live in an area like that? Or were people around you afraid to be in that area? Well, to tell you the truth, um, I never really believed any of the things that uh, were said in the news or anything like that. I was always like, okay, just whatever, you know, people are just making these hoaxes, you know, and TV, you know, and the media is just trying to make all these things up just to have something to say, you know, but I think the, the one thing that really convinced me that there was a possibility that this could be th true uh, was when my father told me about. Uh, my father was a professional wrestler, wrestler and he used to perform every weekend, you know, go, you know, throughout the island of Puerto Rico. And, you know, one time he told me that he was driving by and he actually, you know, drove by El Junque and he actually saw some, uh, some tape that said, do not enter. Uh, and he actually did see a light coming from El Pico del Este. So he was like, I saw that. And when my father told me that, I was like, whoa, like, I think, I think I should give this the the benefit of the doubt because my father is the type of person that he doesn't really believe in those things he just has to see to believe so I was like yeah maybe there is a possibility that this could be real you know and from that point on every time I started hearing news about it and shit like that I really got scared I was like whoa like this is crazy not only that, but I remember like sitting down with my sister like outside of my house. Keep in mind, I did not live in Luquillo, so I did not live close to El Junque. But everything, Puerto Rico is such a small island that, you know, everything, you can get anywhere where you want like that. Mm -hmm. So I remember sitting down with my sister outside of the house and sometimes seeing strange things in the sky. Uh, we couldn't really say what it was, you know, but we remember, I remember like sitting down with her and just having a normal conversation and we saw this like quick star look, star looking thing in the sky, but out of nowhere it would have, it would turn green and it'll disappear. You know, this is a real story, I'm not joking. <laughs> and I remember that day we just freaked out and just went inside the house. And yeah, man, it's uh, it's a little scary, but hey, it's it is where we used to live, and you know, I still had a good childhood, so I can't complain. Mm -hmm. um, the stuff about El Chupacabra is interesting. I always found that stuff interesting. Like I've watched a documentary on uh, on a Bigfoot, the Jersey Devil, and those are also two things where it's like people claim to have seen him, but there's never actually been any physical proof that he exists. There wasn't any proof or anything like that. Uh, Last time I heard from a Chupacabras was when they quote unquote found the bones of him in Puerto Rico, but I never heard anything back, you know, anything from a Chupacabras. I, that was pretty much everything. And I think they just closed everything at that point and never like mentioned him again. But a Chupacabra that I've heard that they described here in the United States, it doesn't sound anything like the one from the that the residents from Luquillo actually described the re, the residents from Luquillo described basically basically an alien with spikes on his back and wings. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, who knows? We're not there, and trust me, I would have loved to see one in order for me to be able to talk about it. But if I if I were to see one, you know, at that time, I would have been, you know, it's my word, and you guys believing it. So. There's no way you guys necessarily could believe me. I could say anything, right? I could say, I saw a yellow dinosaur yesterday, 
but it's up to you to believe it so so this brings us to the end of this video guys i really hope you enjoy it and if you did smash the heck out of that like button if you like our content just hit the subscribe button and if you have any opinions that you would like to tell us about a junka just leave them down in the comment section below do you have anything else to say uh, hit the bell button when you hit subscribe so you can always hear updates from us and if you have suggestions for other abandoned places you want us to talk about leave them down below we do take those into consideration all right so this is ray ray from the podcast studio and justin signing out